So I'm going to interrupt you for a second here. Um, so uh, this is basically uh, constant pressure throughout right now. Um, and so the flames should all be roughly the same height. Now it's not quite the case because the holes that they're coming out of are not quite the same everywhere. Now what I'm going to do is uh, there's a speaker that forms the end of this side. And I'm going to play notes that travel down it. Um, if I play a certain frequency, a random frequency, the traveling wave of that sound will just come back and forth and nothing will happen, it won't resonate, right? But you guys know if I play a note where the wavelength is some quarter multiple of this whole length, then I'm getting somewhere, right? Because then I can get a standing wave back and forth. I'll get regions of high pressure and regions of permanently um, no pressure. So um, that's what we're looking for. So um, that note does not form a standing wave. Now you guys know then when I put a sound through here, that creates a pressure wave, right? Now that's going to be translated into flame height, where it's high pressure, you'll get a taller flame. So what I'm going to try to do is turn a, a longitudinal wave into a transverse wave in flame height. That's the basic idea. So a thousand hertz doesn't do it, but I'll now go down to lower frequency.